topic today is motion. What is motion? Motion is defined as the change in position or orientation of a body. When a body that is located at this point changes position to this, then it has moved. Or if an object that is like this rotates, its orientation has changed. So if it is position or its orientation that changes, that is motion. And the main cause of motion is unbalanced forces. Force causes motion. When you have unbalanced forces acting on an object, the objects will move. For example, I have this marker here. If I have a force moving it to the right, a force coming from the left, if the forces don't balance each other, it will move in the direction of the higher force. There are various types of motion. These are translational motion, rotational motion, oscillatory motion, also called vibrational motion. We have random motion, relative motion, circular motion, projectile motion, and on and on. For this lesson, we focus on just the first five. Translational motion, that's the movement of an object along a straight path. Rotational motion, that's the movement of an object about its axis. Oscillatory motion, the toe and fro movement of an object. The repetitive movement of an object in a toe and fro manner is known as oscillatory motion, or you call it vibrational motion. You know when an object vibrates, that is in a toe and fro manner, vibration. Random motion, random motion, that is the movement of an object in a disorderly manner. You don't have a regular pattern for random motion. Relative motion, that is when an object moves relative to another. You have two objects in terms of relative motion. You don't have a single object performing relative motion. You have to consider two objects. For example, when you're in a car and your car is moving forward, if you look out at trees, the trees appear as if they are moving backward, but they aren't actually moving backwards. That is relative motion. The trees are moving backward relative to you who is in the car. That is the concept of relative motion. Circular motion, that's the movement of an object along a circular path. An example is the oscillation of the earth around the sun. The earth moves in a circular path. And in that case, we'll be talking about centripetal force and centrifugal force. Projectile motion, that's the movement of an object along a curved path under the influence of gravity. All of this will be explained in details, but for this lesson, we focus on just the first four. Translational motion, rotational motion, vibrational motion, and random motion. Translational motion. Translational motion is the movement of an object along a straight path. Examples of objects performing translational motion are a train moving along a straight railway. Number one, a train moving along a straight railway line. Second one, a car traveling along a straight road. The third one, a stone drop from the top of a hill. All of these objects would move along a perfectly straight line. The second kind of motion is rotational motion. Rotational motion is the movement of an object about its axis. Examples of objects performing rotational motion are the earth rotating about its axis. This is the earth. It rotates about its axis. The second example, a ceiling fan rotating about its axis. I'm sure you all know what a ceiling fan looks like. It remains in a fixed spot and rotates about its axis. And the third example is the rotating wheels of a grinding machine. The wheels of every engine to rotate about its own axis. The axis is a straight line about which the object rotates. So the straight line running from this spot so this part down here is the axis of the earth and the earth rotates about that line and the same goes from every other object performing rotational motion in every situation an object would always rotate about its axis 
The third one is oscillatory motion, also called vibrational motion. Oscillatory motion is the repetitive movement of an object in a to and fro manner. Oscillatory motion is also referred to as vibrational motion. Examples of objects performing oscillatory motion, or you see, examples of objects performing vibrational motion are an oscillating simple pendulum bob. You know, when you tie a stone to a rope and you like to swing, that is vibrational motion. An oscillating loaded spiral spring, you have a spring, you load a heavy object on it, then you pull that load and you release it. You notice the load begins to oscillate. That is an example of um, oscillatory motion. And the third one, a child on a swing set into oscillation. You know, the swing goes to and fro. So these are examples of objects performing oscillatory motion. The next one is random motion. Random motion. Random motion is the movement of a body or a particle in a disorderly manner. Examples of objects performing random motion are the random motion of dust particles in the air. The second example, the random movement of gas molecules. And the third one is the random movement of pollen grains in a beaker of water. You have a beaker of water, you put pollen grains into it. You see pollen grains moving in a random, in a disorderly manner. They do not move in a particular direction. So that is all about random motion. And you must also have noticed that about dust particles in the air. The dust particles do not have a particular pattern of movement. They are just being carried in a random manner by the air molecules. So that is all about random motion. So next you'll be talking about, you'll be giving examples of objects performing a combination of two types of motion. A single object can combine two types of motion at the same time. What are those examples? You have to give two examples of objects performing both translational motion and rotational motion. And the second question, you have to give two examples of objects performing both translational motion and oscillatory motion. These are the answers to the first question. Give three examples of objects performing both translational motion and rotational motion. The answer, number one, you have the rotating tires of a moving car. You know when a car is moving along the straight path, the tires will be rotating and they will also be moving along with the car. So the tires alone, each of the tires is performing both rotational motion and translational motion. The second example, the rotating blades of a boat propeller. You know, you have a boat and at the back of the boat, you have a propeller that rotates. It's that propeller that pushes the boat forward. So as the propeller rotates, it is also performing translational motion because it is moving along with the boat. The third example is a drum being rolled down an inclined plane. You know, if you have a plane, an inclined plane, for example, you want to bring drums of oil. You want to bring drums of oil down a truck. So let's assume this is the truck. You create an inclined plane. These are the drums. So when the drums come out, they roll down this plane. They roll down the plane. So as they are rolling down the plane, they are performing rotational motion and translational motion down this inclined plane. The second question. The second question, you have to give two examples of objects performing both translational motion and oscillatory motion. The answers, the first one, the flapping wings of a bird in flight. You know, when a bird is in flight, you see the wings flapping. The wings are moving in a toe and fro manner. Toe, fro, toe, fro. That is the oscillatory motion. Also, the fact that the wings are also moving along with the bird, they are also performing translational motion. You see, these are the wings of the bird. This is the bed. So the wings are performing both oscillatory motion and translational motion because they are also moving forward along with the bed. And the second one, the swinging hands of a relay runner. When a relay runner is running, you see the hands moving to, 
flow, toe, flow. And they're also moving along with the relay runner in a straight line. So those are examples of objects performing both translational motion and oscillatory motion. The next topic is circular motion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a nice time. Why you speaking to him? Oh, you go, you delegate to him. If I carry you go, banana, my guy, you go love Lagos.